Hi everyone, welcome to Potential and Kinetic Energy in 5 minutes or less. So energy is defined as the ability to do work. So for something to happen, you need energy to be able to make it happen. When you don't have energy, nothing's going to happen. So there's two main types of energy we're going to talk about today. There's going to be potential energy, which is stored based on the object's position. So if you raise the height of the object, it's going to have more and more potential energy. For example, a sledgehammer has a lot of potential energy when it's in the raised position before you let it go to hammer something. And like this picture, the bow and arrow has potential energy when it's stretched right before it fires. So the more you stretch it, the more energy it's going to have when it eventually releases. If the person were to not stretch it, then it wouldn't go anywhere. A ski lift is a great example because as the person is dragged higher and higher up the mountain, they're gaining more and more potential energy. A swing set is another good example. When the person's back here, this would be when they have the most potential energy because they are highest up and then all of that energy is translated into speed. So the further up they are, the faster they're going to end up going. If the potential energy is due to a stretching or a compression, like in a spring or a rubber band or maybe even like a bow and arrow since it's got that string, we call that elastic potential energy because it's you're, you're stretching something. If it has to do with how high up something is, we call that gravitational potential energy because it all has to do with the amount of gravitational pull and the position above the ground. You might know this, but bigger objects are going to have more of a gravitational pull. So, for example, a bowling ball would have more potential energy than a feather at the same height. Next up is going to be kinetic energy. This is the energy of motion. So all of that potential energy that you're storing up is eventually going to be transformed into kinetic energy. The idea here is potential and kinetic energy are always balanced. So if there's 100% potential energy, that means that there is 0% kinetic energy. So they always have to equal 100. If there was 100% kinetic energy, then that object has to have 0% potential energy. You could also have a situation where it's 50-50, 25-75, whatever it is, it always has to equal 100%. So any object that's moving has kinetic energy. The bigger the object is, the more energy it's going to have once it's moving, and also the faster the object is moving, the more kinetic energy it has. Here's just an example of potential turning into kinetic. And last but not least, the law of conservation of energy means that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted. So we're transforming the energy from potential to kinetic. Another quick example we could do is the pendulum example. So imagine you have a ball on a string like this and it's going to swing. So it could be in position one in the beginning of the swing and then eventually it'll be in the middle at position two and then it'd be eventually here at position three and then it would just go back and forth so it swings back and forth right so at this point it would be a hundred percent potential at this point it would be a hundred percent kinetic and then at this point it would be a hundred percent potential again because it's just up on the other side so it transforms within one another. If you were to add a position here, right, that spot right there and this spot right here, that would be 50-50 because the potential energy is transforming into the kinetic between one and two. So it will gradually change and then it will gradually change back. All right, hope you thought that was useful and I will see you on the next video.